Well, ETSU opens up the 2012-2013 basketball season on the road, and it was the junior college guys to get things going early. Kennard Gantz and Gilliard stays with it. Second chance opportunity there. Then Hunter Harris on the block turns and scores it. Virginia Tech would make a run. Eric Green nails a three from the corner after a steal. He'll take it coast to coast. And not done yet, Green with the assist to the cherry picker, Robert Brown, and Virginia Tech takes their first lead. John Walton drives to the hoop and lays it up, and Lester Wilson off the bench was Mr. Offense. Nails a turnaround, Jay. Second chance effort brings rain with this one, but gets it to drop. Move to the second half, Bucks down 15 in intermission, a three, four, it is Jarrell Eddy, top of the key. Eric Green wants to nail the three. And then a Robert Brown from the right side. Their triple-headed monster would dominate the Bucks and extend their lead to as many as 25 in the contest as Eddie drives to the hoop. But the Bucks sticking with it. Hunter Harris, second chance opportunity as the Bucks did out rebound Virginia Tech for the game. A steal and a layup for Marcus DeBose. And then you know Baruetta's first ever college basket on the baseline jumper. Lester Wilson led the Bucks in scoring with 20. When he hits that turnaround, and then speedy Petey McLean to the hoop of the left-hand layup. Baruetta, again, this time he'll drive to the hoop. Nice little reverse layup. Marcus DeBose using a pump fake. He'll score it off the glass. He was in double figures. John Walton gets open. McLean finds him a big two-handed dunk for JW3. And Lester Wilson will round out the scoring for the Bucks with a three top of the key. ETSU falls 80-62. to Wilson with 20 points, nine rebounds. DeBose with 12. Walton with eight. And it was the three players, Green, Eddie, and Brown, dominating the Bucks in double figures with Sedarian Reigns with nine. Bucks back in action Saturday against Tennessee Tech.